the 2013 Alpine A450. Rumors have been floating recently that the new cooperation between Alpine and Caterham will give birth to a new sports car. While that has surely driven intrigue into this still-to-be-named model, it's still part of the not-so-distant future. What is recent, though, is Alpine's apparent return to 24-hour racing and it's got quite a race car in its fold ready to take on all comers. Called the A450, the race car is expected to bring the extra excitement to endurance racing at the 2013 Le Mans 24 Hours and this year's European Le Mans Series Elms. The car will be raced by the 24-year-old Nelson Panciatici and 29-year-old Pierre Roggs. This marks Alpine's return to the world of motorsport after an absence of 35 years. The new Alpine A450 will be powered by a Nissan-sourced V8 engine that delivers a total of 500 horsepower and is mated to a 6-speed sequential X-Track gearbox. With a total weight of just 1,984 pounds, the new race car will hit a pretty impressive top speed of 205 miles per hour. Speaking of impressive, have a look at the A450, it's all that and then a little more. The brand's striking blue and orange color combination harkens back to the days of the Alpine Renault A442B that raced the Le Mans 24 hours in 1978. If for nothing else, it's a fitting tribute to the company's racing history while also serving a reminder to the rest of the field that Alpine is back and ready to take some names. Updated 10 April 2013, Alpine officially confirmed today that its first racing car in 35 years will be called A450. The model pays tribute to the A441, A442 and A443 which scored amazing results at the Le Mans in the 1970s. The figure 50 symbolizes the 50th anniversary of Alpine's first official entry for the Le Mans 24 hours. The new A450 will be available for purchase in 2016. Alpine's Racing History Alpine's first race car was the M63, which raced the 1963 24 Hours of Le Mans. Unfortunately, this car was involved in a fatal accident which took the life of Brazilian driver Christian Hines. Over the next few years, the company developed a series of other Le Mans prototypes, but none of them scored impressive results during the race. Alpine saw its first racing success with the unveiling of the A441 and A442 racing cars that competed in the 1976, 1977 and 1978 Le Mans races. In 1978, an A442B finally won the race with Didier Peroni and Jean-Pierre Jousseau behind the wheel. The company's last Le Mans prototype was the A443, which also raced the 1978 Le Mans. This model was the class of its field, lapping in less than 3 minutes 40 seconds. Competition Porsche at Le Mans After an absence of 16 years, Porsche will also return to the racing field for the 2014 Le Mans. The company announced no details on the car to be raced in 2014, but we're sure it'll be an updated version of the RS Spider. The previous version was powered by a 3.4-liter V8 engine that delivered a total of 440 horsepower. Audi R18 e-tron hybrid quattro Audi's R18 e-tron is powered by a 510 horsepower V6 TDI engine combined with two electric motors that power the front wheels. The car also uses kinetic energy that's recovered whenever the car brakes, storing that energy in the flywheel accumulator as electricity. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.